Oh man, is there anything better than food? You see this? Oh wow, okay, heavy. Today, I wanted to do a grocery haul. I haven't done a grocery haul in probably way over a year. Because as you guys know, I'm a plain Jane. I get the same thing every time I go to the grocery store. Really should start changing things up, which is why I started going to Trader Joe's. Now, I grew up hearing about Trader Joe's. I've never dared step foot in Trader Joe's. In fact, I always felt very intimidated to shop there. It just always seemed like the place that cool people go, and that's not me. So over the past few months, I've stepped up my bravery and stepped foot into Trader Joe's. And so today I bring you a Trader Joe's haul. Now, most of this, it's relatively healthy, but some of it, I just was like, listen, I want to try this out. I have to start with the frozen stuff so that I can put it in the freezer. You know, I just got a new kitchen table, which is what I'm sitting at right now. This is the first thing to ever sit on it. Everybody moved out, so I got a nice, a new table. I'm really excited about it. It's my first big girl purchase. Wow, you see this? Yeah, it's pretty. Check it out. It's marble. Oh, that's nice. The chairs are not the exact chairs that are supposed to match with this table. They were a little out of my price range, so I got some cheaper ones off of Overstock. Okay, I'm talking your head off. Let's start with cauliflower pizza. This is all up in your grill, isn't it? Okay. Now you guys know I do my very hardest, very best, better than my very best to live a healthy lifestyle, but we still gotta treat ourselves. Now this is what I'm trying to really stick to the healthy eating game, but I still, I got my cravings, you know? I got my pizza cravings. Now I've tried cauliflower crust pizza in the past and it was absolutely repulsive and disgusting. This guy from Trader Joe's, this is good. Gluten-free cheese pizza with a cauliflower crust. Rice cauliflower and rice broccoli. Now I've never tried the broccoli, so I'm excited to try the broccoli. But rice cauliflower, I have tried and I have enjoyed. Throw this on a skillet, make sure it gets nice and crunchy. You can toss it into anything. And we all know I suffer from getting my vegetables in, so. I wasn't raised on vegetables, so vegetables are still very difficult for me to eat, so. I'm working on it. Gosh dang it, handle, get out. I got a rice cooker, but rice cookers take time. So if I'm gonna rush, I'm hustling, I'm bustling. I just pop this out of the freezer and then pop it in the microwave. We have our organic brown rice. Microwave perfect in three minutes. That right there, that's hot fire flames, okay? Oh, I am hype about this. Okay, Stephanie Buttermore posted these on her Instagram story. I don't believe she said they were fabulous, but she said they were good. So I'm excited to try these out. We have our mango and cream bar. And while I was at it, I picked up the raspberry and vanilla cream bar. And the macros on it are not horrendous, you know? A nice little treat. The mango is 60 calories a bar. This guy is 80. We got 10 grams of carbs in each. 9 grams of sugar, 2 grams of fat, 3 grams of fat. Each one of these boxes were like 2 bucks. That's what I love about Trader Joe's, you know? We're stealing. We're getting the deal. Stealing and dealing. Now, I've already purchased these and showed these to you guys a million and ten times. This is the unsweetened organic acai puree. Puree? Puree packets. This is what I use every single day for my acai bowls. I can't stop making that. Now, I know Whole Foods also has their own acai. I would like to go there, but Whole Foods is another store that I feel very uncomfortable in. I don't feel cool enough for that one. You get four in a packet, I think it's like four or five bucks. So, I mean, much cheaper than my $12 acai bowls that I was buying. And to go inside my acai bowls, I buy the organic frozen blueberry. And they're like little mini guys. They're tiny, so they make it super easy to blend up into my acai. If you saw my last full day of eating, you saw the acai bowl fail. And my favorite toast that I have been scarfing down. And for that toast, I use this bread right here. This is the sprouted, flourless, whole wheat berry bread. All right, now these guys, I got via Ali's suggestion. These are the Bamba peanut snacks. See, it's very confusing because you think they're Cheeto puffs, but they smell like peanut butter, so. I mean, I prefer Cheetos because I'm more of like a Cheeto gal rather than a peanut butter fan, but 40 pieces, that's a lot. 160 calories, 10 grams fat, 14 carbs, and five grams of protein. Editing snack, Netflix snack, Hulu snack. I've been kind of more about Hulu lately, to be honest with you. Another suggestion from Allie, Trader Joe's Savory Thin Mini 
edamame crackers. In my last What I Eat In A Day video, there, I had so much stuff from Trader Joe's that people thought it was sponsored by Trader Joe's. This video is not sponsored. Delicious. So here we have, I showed these in my last What I Eat In A Day video as well, the Reduced Guilt Chunky Guacamole. This is made with Greek yogurt. Holy guacamole. <laughs> it's so good. You see what I did there? Yeah. Next dip that I got is a spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. I've also tried this before, and the macros on both of these guys is so freaking good. You know, it's hard to feel guilty when you're eating this, which is a few of these every day, you know? I do really like this one. It's very creamy. Is it my favorite? No. Do I like it more than the guacamole? Definitely not, but it's good. Indulging. Mm -hmm. It's good, but it's definitely like a spinach and kale vibe, so if that's not your forte, don't get it. Okay, we are on to the last bag. These are the uh, organic English cucumber. I want to make a cucumber salad. I love cucumber. I love the ones at Trader Joe's because they're very crunchy, you know? So I put these on my toast and then I also want to make a cucumber salad. Salad. And then we have the green goddess salad dressing with avocado, green onion, lemon juice, chives, basil, and garlic. They look like juices, you know, when people do those juice cleanses. I had to get another one of these. We already went through a bottle of this. This is the Asian style spicy peanut vinaigrette. Where Trader Joe's gets yet is they have samples in the back. And they made a bomb stir fry and put this in it. And it's so freaking good. Now listen, 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 listen. Are the macros phenomenal? No, no, definitely not. But it's really good. I got another of the organic coconut aminos. So this is what I've been using to replace soy sauce. You can use it for a ton of cooking stuff. It's funny because I have found a ton of recipes that needed coconut aminos and I was like, what in the world is a coconut amino? I found it at Trader Joe's. Another alley recommendation is the beefless ground beef. Now you guys know I love the Gardein one, so she recommended this guy. Okay, the rest is just some nonsense that I got. This is the chili spiced mangoes. I always see people getting the fresh mango and then they put some something on it. Never tried it. I do love dried mango. I mean, dried fruit's not the best for you, but. It's a no from me on that one. I picked up another of the everything but the bagel sesame seed. I will put this stuff on everything. In fact, I don't think I needed another one of this, but I know I'll use it. Oh my gosh, my tongue burns from these. This is way too spicy. It's a hot tamale. And then Allie made me get this seasoning. She says that it tastes like top ramen, you know, like the, the little seasoning they put on that. So this is the seasoning salt, all purpose savory seasoning. I got this Go Macro protein bar, never tried it. So it's high protein. It's vegan, soy free, and non-GMO. Macros on it, one bar is 290 calories, 11 fat, 37 carbs, holy guacamole. Only 11 grams of protein. That's not high protein in my book, but I'm gonna give it a try. I have also never seen a single size serving of the Lenny and Larry's, the complete cookie. The smaller one, have you ever seen this? They're massive cookies, they really trick you because they say, only eat half of it, but who in the heck and pop can stop at half a cookie? They're okay, they're not the best cookies in the world, but speaking of good cookies, these are the vegan chocolate chip cookies with walnuts, so let's just give these a try. Oh, these are good. Wow, one cookie, that's it, just one cookie a day. These, definitely. These, it's a no from me. These, mm. Mm hmm. Last but not least, I got the dogs. A dog treat. This is the Trader Joe's organic chicken and brown rice recipe sticks. I have a very hard time not getting the dogs in treat anywhere I go, to be honest with you. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And seriously, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a fit tip with wit again. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you next time. Look at this mess. Look at my kitchen. Wanna try a dog treat? What do you think? Do you like it? Neighbors? The pups rate it a nine out of 10, so it's a hit for the dogs.